Hi, everybody. Welcome in at 10 tonight. And first up, the former mayor of Hyattsville now accused of stealing over $2 million from a D.C. school. Kevin Ward took his own life earlier this year. Now a federal investigation reveals that he defrauded Kip D.C. while he was working there. Fox 5's Nana Senyo Bonsu is live tonight outside of the school in Northwest with the details. Guys, good evening. In this 24-page civil complaint, we find out how former Mayor Ward allegedly defrauded this D.C. charter school system and what he purchased with the money. If the allegations are true, I feel sadly that, you know, these students didn't have the resources that they needed in order for them to perform better in school. Prince George's County Council Member Danny Tavares can't believe that a former colleague is accused of defrauding KIPP DC of $2.2 million, money that was meant to be spent on electronics for remote learning during the height of the pandemic. Tavares and the late mayor Kevin Ward worked and served for the people of Hyattsville together. We've known each other for some time. And over the years, we have been able to work on several different projects, including um, the most recent, which occurred during the um, the pandemic. In a civil lawsuit filed by the U.S. District Court of the District of Columbia, Ward is accused of stealing the money and using it to buy two properties in West Virginia and several cars, including Tesla's. Ward, who was the senior director of technology at the school at the time, was in charge of buying laptops, computers, tablets, and softwares for the school. According to court documents, Ward sent out numerous invoices through a company called Tenret Tech in the spring of 2020. He was an authorized person on this business and the company's address was Ward's home address. In November, December of 2021, school leaders noticed that Tenret Tech never delivered any of the products ordered by Ward. That's when the U.S. Attorney's Office got involved. This is something that is not insurmountable and that he could have moved, he could move beyond. There, there was no need to take a life. Kevin Ward passed away in January 2022. Police say it was a suicide. Fox 5 cannot confirm what led to his suicide, but Councilwoman Tavera says if it was because of the allegations, she wishes he would have reached out for help. He must have been at a low point. And so what, in order to, to drive him to that extreme, um, but I do believe that it is... Um, it's sad that he felt there was nowhere for him to turn. Now, the city of Hyattsville tells us they are aware of the complaints, but they are not implicated in any way. KIPP DC also informed us that they have been able to recover a million dollars through their insurance provider. We did reach out to the former mayor's family and we're waiting to hear back. If you or anyone you know is struggling with mental health, the new suicide hotline number is 988. Back to you.